Good morning, everyone. I'm Ingrid Estrada, and uh, you just heard from Satish about our long-term growth strategies. And today you'll hear from the rest of my colleagues about their business plans to continue to provide long-term differentiation. But for the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about our people and our culture and how they're an enduring competitive advantage that have been a critical success factor in our transformation journey to date. What you'll hear from me today will give you confidence about our ability to continue to deliver on our long-term commitments. I'll cover three areas today about our culture. First, as I just said, it's an enduring competitive advantage and has been front and center in our ability to continue our transformation to solutions and software centric. We've continued to build upon our organizational capabilities and that has been in alignment and enabling our strategy and then we've also integrated our ESG program into our business strategy for the benefit of our customers, shareholders, employees, and communities. First, let me talk a little bit more about our, our actual culture and what it's like. So it starts with the Keysight leadership model. In 2018, we launched that, and now it's foundational. It permeates the entire company, as Satish just mentioned. And it also not only uh, gives us a common language to activate strategy, communicate effectively, onboard people earlier, but it also helps inform us and continually remind us of what's important. It's customer centricity, our values, and gives us a common way to assess our leaders. Do they show customer centricity? Do they have the ability to develop market insights? Do they demonstrate operational excellence? This allows us to make sure we have the right leaders in the right roles, which is also foundational to driving our culture. When we combine our leadership and our attributes in the KLM, along with our deeply rooted values, a compelling vision, customer-focused innovation, and a collaborative environment, we have a winning formula. As a result of that, you can see on the right-hand side that we have some unique aspects of our uh, culture. We have five generations of employees, a very low turnover rate at 7%, which is about half of what the industry has, a fairly long tenure of 12 years, quite a bit longer than the average industry, um, and then a 3,200, approximately 3,200 employees that have come to us through acquisitions with a 99.5% acceptance rates. We don't believe these are just accidental statistics. I think this is directly uh, correlated to our strong culture. The stability of this culture also allows us to not only uh, provide long-term relationships with customers and collaborative environment, but also allows us to develop that deep technology expertise. When we harness that deep technology expertise along with our strategy, it has really enabled us to make significant progress in our transformation to solutions and software centric from an organizational and cultural aspect as well. And that again is across the entire company. So starting with the organization, a few years back we evolved the organizational design to be uh, eliminating the traditional divisional approach and then we instituted the solutions customer-oriented business unit approach. In R&D, we, we are now co-innovating with, uh, with our key customers, and our mantra is to innovate at the, at the pace of the customers or faster. This is also where we have another mantra about being the engineer's engineer. In our go-to-market strategy, we've been evolving towards an ARR model, and now we have hundreds of frontline sellers working with complete solutions, including software and services, to provide lifetime value for our customers. Mark Wallace will cover more of this. In the talent area, we've continued to increase our software and R&D engineers, primarily through acquisitions, and that's where that 3,200 new employees added comes from all part of our bit more uh, important strategy around transforming to more software solution centric, uh, again, through adding these employees. Um, our engineers are working with leading edge technology companies, which puts us at the bleeding edge. This creates a very challenging yet fulfilling environment, which, help, which helps us attract and retain top innovators in the industry. 
We also have a key element of our uh, culture, which is driving high performance. Strategically cultivating talent along the entire career journey is how we uh, build this high performance culture. We actually start even before their career with us into the academics where we sponsor STEM activities with primary, primarily focused on females and underrepresented minorities. And we also partner closely with key universities in order to attract and retain new fresh thought leadership. Uh, our goal is to double our campus and interns over the next few years, again, to continue to renew our thought leadership. We also provide many uh, opportunities for employees to do continuous learning and development, which is another cornerstone of our culture. We do uh, ro job rotations, job expansions. We default to trying to do a lot of internal promotions, and we provide a lot of leadership development opportunities. Our environment is always described as being very collegial and collaborative with a high emphasis on developing IP. And then even as some of our key engineers plan to retire, we have an emeritus program to assure that that IP is formally and uh, smoothly transitioned to the next generation of leaders. Uh, the other thing about our uh, culture is that not only um, is it uh, very effective internally at developing IP and keeping our employees highly engaged, but we also see that uh, externally as well. Satish already mentioned an example here where some of our engineers went to great lengths to set up complex labs in their house um, in order to continue to deliver on commitments during the pandemic. Additionally, some other examples are last year we did a global innovation challenge where 52 women-led uh, teams competed on uh, inventions in the sustainability area. We have um, uh, uh, every two years a program called the Keysight Technical Conference where we have hundreds of internal and external thought leaders come together for several days to innovate from the outside in. The result of this is that we have greater than 85% engagement globally and in the US, 90% of our uh, employees feel that we are a great place to work against statistics that are quite high given the uh, average high tech company. Uh, the next area I'd like to cover is on our corporate social responsibility. This is also something that goes uh, back, deeply rooted in our DNA, back to our HP days, um, and continues to be a cornerstone of our culture today as well. We have a robust corporate social program with multiple pillars, and you can um, read through that. We, every, every year in May, we, we publish a corporate social responsibility report, but I'm going to uh, just give a quick update on three areas of it. Um, the first one is, as I mentioned earlier, we have our ESG program integrated into our business strategy and uh, our solutions for a sustainable future are integral to that business strategy and customer success. For example, in the automotive and energy ecosystem, we deliver solutions that directly enable clean tech companies. In 2021, we declared publicly our goal to be net zero by 2040, which is 10 years ahead of the Paris Accord. And we've made strong progress in especially our reduction of energy consumption um, with uh, installing large solar panels at some of our largest sites, piloting an EV fleet program, and in uh, installing uh, uh, smart lighting solutions in almost all of our build buildings. We are committed to using science-based targets, and we submitted our plans just uh, uh, a few weeks ago and hope to get that approved later this year. The third area I'd like to cover is our diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and for us, that starts at the top with our board of directors, not only with their diversity, but also their commitment to DE&I. Our top 300 executives have an objective metric in their uh, incentive plans directly linked to making progress in DE&I, and we have multiple uh, projects, initiatives, and programs uh, that are led by a dedicated DE&I director. We're proud of our company and our culture and pleased to be recognized externally. Uh, some of the organizations that I'd like to just call out are Fortune's uh, Best Places to Work, the Bloomberg, 
and um, some of uh, the uh, 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 others up here that are not only just US-based, but also global. In summary, our customer-focused culture and people are an enduring part of our uh, competitive advantage. They are critical to continue to deliver on our results and will continue to fortify our culture as a key competitive differentiator.